Okay, this is Five Prime, and welcome to BattleTech. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So, really love the intro to this game. I'm going to be quiet during all the um, speaking scenes and uh, cutscenes, etc. Played a little bit of this, but only a couple of missions just to familiarise myself. And I've had a uh, proper kind of uh, look through the MechWarrior universe. I've played MechWarrior 2 years and years ago. Which I uh, really enjoyed, and uh, so got back into MechWarrior Online and this at around about the same time. Um, on MechWarrior Online, I'm with uh, House Liao, and I'll give that a go here as well. I'm gonna have to shut up in a second, but uh, I tend to pilot light mechs in MechWarrior Online as well, which I'll, uh, I might stream a little bit of that. Uh, I am appalling at it. And I have no apologies for that. When you're bad at something, you should accept it. And uh, just enjoy it. And go, you know what? It's <laughs> just keep me playing against the tier 5 and tier 4 guys and everyone's shit, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Koromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. said I just absolutely love that intro okay so this bit introduces you a little bit um, about um, like where we are the story etc and that kind of thing I think it kind of tells itself I don't think we need to worry too much about things as I said before Necro Online I play uh, Confederation House Liao definitely gonna go for that they got kind of a Chinesey uh, Russian-y kind of feel to them um, you have to earn citizenship and all that kind of stuff which is quite good so, uh, family went bankrupt. Let's go for that. I think that's a reasonably realistic thing. And let's face it, if you're Chinese, in the kind of the old stories, and you were good at fighting, you became a merchant card if you're a good guy. I'm a good guy. Let's go merchant card. Okay. Let's just go. Just put 
something. It's my favourite Fallout 1 character. He can be Max Stone. There we go. It's going to give me, um, also happens to give me just kind of a nice blend of being kind of okay-ish at everything as a starting character. I think um, it's actually technically more XP efficient to really go balls to the wall for one thing, but it's not all about me and Maxine, is it? Hi Lord, Tomati Arano is the second who's dead. The Oregon Reach is left at an uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful men. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of founding houses must be dissolved. He's proposed directive would consecrate their house guard and centralise power under a single throne. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Kamea Arana, is determined to rebuild the reach without transforming it into a monetary state. She refuses to enact her uncle's directive and has rebuked his vehement pleas to reconsider. On the morning of Lady Arano's ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mastiff Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Day. So we're going to kick off now. Okay, if all of it went smoothly, it wouldn't make for much of a game, would it? <laughs> so you get like nice little tips up here at the top left to kind of uh, tell you things like um, vehicles take double damage from melee attacks, which is worth knowing. So vehicles are. Uh, tank-like things as opposed to walkers, if you like. Uh, and it gives you a bit more about melee attacks here, the fact that they don't generate any heat, so they're quite good if you're overheating. Um, and they also com can completely remove a target's evasion. I don't I think they always do that. So if you've got a nice little squirrely light mech that wanders a bit too close, you can kind of lumber over there and punch him in the face or give him a kick in the legs or something like that. Take his evasion away and that lets your mates kind of finish him off. Movement is life in this game. I see an awful lot of people standing still, and there's only there's a, a skill line that you can go down to make standing still viable. Command um, interface initiated. If you haven't done that, don't stand still. Okay, and this is the usual kind of tutorial-y stuff where we just kind of convince it that we can, you know, get through the keys. Okay, Five Prime, I had the Espinosa refit the odds rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should let some, we should run some diagnostics on it, just to be sure. Standard field tests, you know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you about the job that I brought you out here to do. Now do me a favour and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. Okay, so... I'll come to right out and sure. say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Okay, so we're going to do an ordinary move. Movement gives you evasive charges, but it makes you more difficult to hit. Um, and that, as we'll find out, is a great way to die less, which is always a bonus. So we kind of do a movement. The blackjack's not particularly fast. Uh, I brought you here because there's something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tomati's funeral, and I'm worried that Lady Kamea's safety during our coronation procession. I'm worried about Lady Kamea's safety during our coronation procession. Anyway, looks like your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Okay, so you can enable and disable weapons as you go. Uh, I'm not particularly worried about doing this, which is alpha strike. If you like fire, absolutely everything. This thing. Enemy mech destroyed. That's a bonus thing about dummy targets. They're going to much easier than real mechs. Good shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. A 
I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt she'll be just a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to Cordia City. I rest easy to see her once she's in the capital, with her cousin Victoria by her side. Lady Victoria? Well, she's only been training underneath for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth to be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. See that drone over there, the one moving through the tree line? Put some hurt on it for me. And when it turns, take it out with a rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Camille's like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Okay, so, as we see down here, this autopilot target dummy. So the game kind of forces you to get into a bad habit here, I think, which is to stand still and shoot while there's lots of enemies knocking around, but, you know, it's basically teaching you here. If you like, this is, this is the target screen, and it's basically teaching you, if you fire things in which you've got a load of armour at the front, you know, 90, armor at the, at the front, you know, 75, 75, so it's got plenty of armor knocking around over where we're going to hit it. All weapons committed. Well, very unlikely. Huge amounts of damage. Especially when it's in cover like that. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. Okay, so we select our pilot again, go back over, and it's essentially teaching you it's got seven armor in the rear, so, you know, 90 at the front it started out with, seven in the rear, you're basically going to just cut clean through that. So it's teaching you all weapons committed. basic of your enemy and you. It's really important. So you want to spread damage enemy over unit. your mech as much as possible, where it still has armor. And you're already the opposite to the enemy. Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord Tomati's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power, and Kamea belongs on the Cormoran throne. Go ahead and fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there near the edge of the lake. Okay. So I'm going to whack my jump jets and land over here. You can see uh, those little chevrons underneath the jump, so you've got kind of four evasion points, if you like. So this is going to add a lot of difficulty to anything which is trying to hit me jumping, which is Engaging jump jets. always a good thing. Okay, this is a bit of Yeah, I was enemy. afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. So although he was a bit afraid of that, I was a bit surprised about quite how much heat that jump produced. And it won't for the rest of the game. The warning, plasma leak detected, jump jet malfunction, jump jet systems damaged, system inoperable until repaired. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what we'll get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do with that. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we take it out on the Cormoran Road. Okay, so melee attacks. You can see here um, you've got melee and how much damage it actually does. So it's got 40 ordinary damage, which is pretty respectable, like um, a decent amount, I guess. It's more than you see your medium lasers and your uh, your AC2s here, your your auto cannons are, uh, are kind of all doing 25, so 40 is respectable. And you can, if you get multiple ones of these arrows, you can actually choose which direction to hit them from, which is obviously very important. At this stage, it's just a, you know, a dummy, so it'll fall over that one. Engaging physical yeah. attack. Headbutt. It ain't pretty, but it worked. Good hit. At least that's solid. All right, one last test. I want you to take your flakjack up, up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. 
If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're Mecha Maneuver. Okay, and this is well worth noting as well. The, the faster you move, you see, they kind of get like one, no chevrons here, so you wouldn't get any extra sort of evasion. Yeah, harder to hit, harder to hit again, harder to hit again. And then kind of out here, you're much harder to trick. Not quite as good as when we were jumping though. So it's trying to teach you, like, if you run, the other guy won't hit you as much. Always a bonus not being shot. Congratulations, Five Prime. You're Blackjack's as combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances. For what it's worth, I hope my suspicions turn out to be unfounded, and we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I know that you'll be ready. All right, it's time to move out. Lady Arano is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Okay, I'm just gonna move to the objective. Full throttle. Five Prime, allow me to introduce late Kamei Kamea Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to Picton Docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. Behold, the responsibilities of a noble daughter. A fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customised monstrosity, you pilot. Ha! <laughs> Bold words, cousin, but the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending to the throne today, but my cargo is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin, we'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney grounds. So Raju, I'm ready to go when you are. Overland along the Cormorant Road, as is the Arano tradition. Aye, come here. We'll get you there in one piece. Five Prime, fall in behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission success. Easy mission. Liking that. So I'm going to just uh, round that off and call that uh, sort of the first episode is a bit of an introduction that'll allow people who've uh, who've seen the uh, the intro and that kind of thing not to get too bogged down in the first few missions and it also keeps this as kind of a nice manageable size so i will catch you for the next episode